Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls and fellow YouTubers, thank you for clicking on this video and this video is going to be about the new Vajwar lockbox ship that is called the Astika, um, if I pronounce it right. So. I did not get a chance to get one by opening lockboxes, so I just got one from the exchange. The Astica Heavy Battle Cruiser Tier 6. Little bit information about this vessel, a lot of uh, text that you guys, if you want, can go through by yourself, because I'm not into that. I'm more of a statistic guy, so I'm going to talk about the little statistics this plane did over here. So uh, the hull strength is going to be 45,000 at level 40, 51,750 at level 60, and 60,000 flat at level 60. That's nice of them. To put that number in at level 60 is going to have a shield modifier of 1.16 and what that actually means is whatever type of shield you're going to be putting on this vessel it's going to be modified by 1.16 so that's really good it has a crew complement of 600 and it has uh, five weapons on the front and three on the aft that has four device slots the bridge officer seating or stations I'm gonna show you guys in game because it's more visual or ple uh, uh, pleasing and rather than just uh, uh, naming out ranks console modification it has four tactical five engineering and two science it has a base turn rate of 6.5 degrees per second, a impulse modifier of 0 0.15, and impulse modifier just as the shields, whatever type of impulse engines you're going to put on your ship, it's going to be modified by 0 0.15. It has an inertia of 38, and it's going to have plus 10 to weapon power, plus 5 to shield power, and plus 5 to engine power as well and can equip the dual cannons and it's going to have a universal console the assault module relays we're going to see that in action while we take this baby out for a spin as it were it also has cruiser communication arrays so you can um set this vessel in command mode the shield frequency modulator or strategic maneuvers or weapon system efficiency and as always tier six ships have um special abilities that is called battle cruiser in this case level one is going to be uh, absorption plating uh, level two enhanced weapon banks level three enhanced plating and level 4 is going to be armored hull level 5 is going to be supremacy starship tried more on that where we'll take this baby out for a spin um so let us unpack it oops we don't have enough room so let's discard a ship that we're not going to use and i'm just gonna go to the npc where you can select a different kind of ships and we are going to remove one ship that we don't really use and that's this thing uh discharge uss to bear with me guys and there we go uh dun dun uh, what did it say? USS Grant or something like that? Uh, come on, where are you? Wow. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, here. Greenville. Let us rename it to something. Alamo. Okay, that's good. That's a good ship name. 
let me just take these consoles they came off from that other ship and put them in there um elmo uh ready star ship so that's going to be our primary ship and this is that special console that this ship comes equipped with let's see assault mode um vajra vessels are built with the ability to stun additional weapon power uh additional power away from their um uh, navigation and mobile system and uh, mobility systems into their weapons activating assault mode will allow your vessel to generate more powerful weapon attack for a limited amount of time by sacrificing some speed and turn rate so that's awesome to do on the assault escort this mode also in grants increased shield hardness and shield regeneration on your forward shield facing while active so this is going to be really good when you are in a assault um, in assault mode I guess and you're like facing your enemy because your shield your front shield uh, facing or your forward shield facing is going to be having an increased in shield hardness and shield regeneration so that's awesome to do um 20 max target self two minutes recharge uh, when equipped on escort plus five critical chance plus 15 critical severity oh my god that's so high plus 84.4 shield regeneration per second on the front arc uh, reduces damage to shield by s whoa by 56.2 percent and that's percent wow nice Disable mobility bonuses from this com console. Minus 50% flight speed while active. So that's that's good. I mean, it sacrifices speed for a lot of action. So more DPS for this type of vessels. Nice, nice. I like it. When equipped on a battleship, um, plus 10% critical chance, plus 25 critical severity. Upon deactivation, placates foe within 3 kilometers for 8 seconds. Disable mobility bonus from this console. Minus 50% flight speed while active. And minus 50% flight turn rate while active. Let's see. We have skills that affect this ability. Uh, starship shield emitters that is going to improve shield healing. And starship countermeasure system. It's going to improve confuse and placate so that's nice and if you have both ships additional um, if you have the two set bonuses I mean you're going to have additional barrage launchers your Polaron barrage now also create five secondary targets in a 360 degree area around your vessel secondary Polaron barrage targets deals less damage polar on damage per blast this skills that affect this ability starship weapon training improve all weapon damage and projectile weapon training that improves kinetic weapon damage torpedoes and all that so that's nice 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 let's see we have just the basic stock and we have some kind of nice polar on weapons polar on emitters polar on dual cannons and turrets okay so let's see what kind of, of configuration we can do on this vessel so customize starship whoa this thing is huge there we go let's see material type one or two one or two one or two mm, i'm liking two much better than one because it has that military kind of ordeal to it let's see can we change windows nope just the normal one color nothing's happening nothing is happening let's go to advanced advanced has gym just a couple of different layouts on that wow i did not know that there is like a big hole in in, on this vessel over here do not even notice that so that part of there there you get there you can see you can see the line coming out of the the the, 
inside of the ship and like also on the front where the deflector should be um let's see the rear vessel has some nice fins to them and then basically just one big ship okay so purchase yes and then let's take this baby up in space so I can show you guys some different visualization of this vessel because I have all of the space sets and when I put them on hopefully this ship is going to change in its layout so this is the ship in its normal configuration basic stack Oh, let me just remove the HUD. There you go. I am liking the energy, uh, the engine wake that this ship is dishing out on normal, you know, normal equipped standard Mark Ten engines. I'm liking that a lot. That reddish and reddish glow over there. And if you've seen one of my other videos, you probably know where I'm going. And that's all the way to this station over here. Because I like it. And let us start by... Hold on. Um, there we go. No, not you. This one. So let us start by equipping the adaptive mako set and then the engines and then the shield so you can see if this vessel there we go changed in the way it is laid out on the different hull pattern that cryptics developers or creative team has made this vessel oh that looks so good Now that glow that you're seeing on the engine, that's just a passive boat that I have. So don't mind that, just the different visualization over here. That's important right now. So the next one is going to be the Aegis set. Let's see, one, two, three, yes. Oh, look at that. Look at how much it's changed. Look at that contour, all of those lights. That are unique to this vessel. Oh, look at that. That's so good. And there it comes from the darkened side to the lightened side of this soul system. Uh, the Borg set is going to change this ship entirely. Let's see, do we have all three set? Yes. And there it is. Look, this vessel is assimilated. <laughs> Oh, look at that. That's so nice. So let's see something else. Counter command. Uh, counter command. One, two, three, set. Yes. And that's the counter command set always changing that dark blue or you know dark gray dark brown color to it 
and that green engine wake as you guys can see from the fluidic space motion movement that you do in fluidic space that's good real nice to see what else do we have um the delta set Uh, one, two, three, set, yes. And that's the Delta set for you guys. <laughs> okay, so I'm seeing a trend over here. This engine wig, whatever engines you put, that like glowish, reddish, pinkish color is like part of this ship. So it doesn't matter what kind of engine you put over there. Still gonna have it. Let's see, uh, the Dyson set. Uh, Dyson, there we go. Dyson set totally changes everything to white. And there is the, the top of the vessel. Really, really good to see that. The Dyson set really changes the ship. And I'm going to go to the part where it's like under, you know, under the sunlight. It's like the dark side of the sun. Look at that, that's so good. Yeah, I like that. Uh, let's do the Jem'Hadar set. That's always fun to see a ship turn pinkish, pinkish color. Let's see, do we have all three sets? Yes, so all three sets. And there we go. That's the Jim Hedar set. Totally changes the vessel to pinkish color. <laughs> nice. What else do we have? We have the normal Mako. There you go. Normal Mako. The new car set. And new car shields. One, two, three set. Yes. And that's the new car space set for you guys. So you can see it did change the like visualization of this ship. And I also noticed that it changed all of those, you know, those green items that I had over here. I don't know, like uh, <clears throat> like ship windows or something like that. It changed and made them bluish. So that's nice. Let's see something else. What do we have here? The Omega Force space set. One, two, three, set, yes. And there it is. I like this shadow side a lot. Because you see more of the vessels, like, you know, details and stuff like that. 
<clears throat> so what else do we have? <clears throat> we have the Riemann set. The Riemann one, two, three. And the Riemann always changes this ship really, really nice, really, really good. Look at that. I'm liking the glow on this ship. Look at that glow. It's like it's slick. It's really slick. So, next one is going to be the Romulan set. Romulan, Romulan, Romulan. There it is. Romulan set. With, that, with their greenish color, their military greenish color, I should say. Look at that. Oh yeah. What else do we have? Um the Solani space set. See, do we have all three sets? Yes, we do. Now the Solani space set doesn't offer any visualization, any unique visualization I should say, but you know, just the basic stock. Uh, the stock version where this ship comes equipped with but just to be thorough so you guys can see um, what else do we have we have the green one and that's the last space set that is gonna offer a different in visualizations and there you can see how it totally changed this ship. Mm, nice. All right, so um, this ship, I thought it came equipped with its own unique bridge. So let's get there and see what it's going to be like. Okay, here we go. 40%, 42, 50, 60, there we go. Nice, unique bridge. There we have, so let us pull up the map. So we have a really small area then we can choose uh, access account bank over here, the normal MPC access library, contact duty officers, and that is it. It's kind of weird, weird small bridge. And I just dropped somewhere. There we go. And we have, what was that? We have some clipping issues over here. Oh, okay. Thought I couldn't move. But uh, yeah, it's the bridge. Really, can we sit on the chair? There we go. This is the bridge, really small, crowded area. And yeah, we have a console over here for our duty officers or bridge officers to do their work consoles everywhere my viewing screen and that's the hall oh that's the ceiling the whole whole plating yeah that's about it not a lot to see but it has its own unique bridge so let us leave because we've seen enough <laughs> So, I'm going to take this baby out to Arcala because I'm going to show you guys a little bit 
of a fighting action and it's best to do that over here so you can level your ship as well while I am doing this so the starship masteries let's talk about that we talked a little bit about it when I showed you guys the statistics of this of this vessel but let's go through them again so level one is going to give you plus 25 kinetic and physical damage resistant rating uh, level 2 is going to give you plus 15 critical severity. Level 3 is going to give you plus 25 all energy damage uh, resistance rating and plus 25 radiation damage resistant rating. Level 4 is going to give you 10% whole hit points and level 5 is going to give you that supremacy. And it says beam, fire at will, and cannon scatter volley boost power levels grant supremacy to self plus one all power settings for 15 seconds per target hit while cannon scatter volley or beam fire at will is active. And if you unlock supremacy on this uh, ship, you can use that uh, like that uh, buff on your other ships as well and you can do that at the traits and you can choose one of those starship traits over here i have like six uh traits that ha i have unlocked and you can like active or uh you can choose one to be active or one to be inactive just like i'm doing right now and let's see what else what else um the statistics is going to vary from captain from from uh, character to character or captain from captain. Now the loads are I'm not even going to talk about that. Um, the bridge of his uh, seatings I am going to talk about. You have a lieutenant. No. You have you do have a lieutenant universal station, so you could put engineering, science, or tactical uh, bridge officer up there, and you have two. Um, space abilities so I'm gonna put that one over there just some random character you have a uh, lieutenant commander tactical so you could put a tactical uh, captain over there with three abilities um, you have a engineering with four abilities that's so nice to have Let's put you over there. And you have a science, a lieutenant science with two abilities. And this one, this one is a lieutenant commander or engineering station. Okay. So I'm going to put you. Nope, I can't put you over there. I'll put you over there. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um. So what do we have? We have beam overload, torpedo high yield, torpedo spread. That's nice. Direct energy modulation, emergency weapon, emergency power to weapons, uh, auxiliary power to structural integrity field. That's good. Uh, emergency battery, emergency power to auxiliary, emergency power to shields, transfer shield strength, and hazard emitters. Um, as you guys can see, this vessel. Um, with all of those consoles uh, that are in engineering and all of those consoles that are in tactical you can be dishing out a lot of firepower and also because it is a cruiser you can be tanking a lot so that's my recommendation either be uh, having this vessel as like a tank that can um, uh, tank a lot of like fire uh, power that your enemy dishes out to you on your shield and on your hull because you do have a lot of hull on this ship and that's uh, how much hull do I have right now oh I can't see because it's not the real uh, uh, hull hit points over here because I am in sector space doesn't show up the real uh, uh, hull hit points but I should say it's over 80 at you know my setup and it, the basic model comes if you are level 60 like I am if you are level 60 you're going to have at least 60,000 hit points on your hull so that's really really nice to have um, 
I'm just going to change uh, the um, set to the delta. And because that's going to give me the highest hit points in hull and shields. Just for this mission, obviously. And I have a, um, you know, a good setup. I have two science ability, two science bridge officers with like two abilities. I have uh, engineering four and two, and I have three for my tactical. So that's that's good enough. Good enough. So let's get inside and just show you guys how this vessel is gonna dish out its power to the enemy. And as you guys can notice, Cryptic is not really loading really fast, so I might just cut this part out. <coughs> so, loading, loading, loading. And still loading. And here we go, 40%. Server not responding. There we go, wanted. So let us dish out a little bit power on this enemy that we have over here. So let us give the Benthans a hand. There we go. Pew pew pew. Pew pew pew. Now, I should have set up this vessel a little bit better. And I'm going to change the mode to assault mode so you guys can see. There we go, assault mode. As you can see, um, something opened up over here. And my turn rate has gone down to like really really bad and really really slow it's not turning anymore Jesus and that was the assault mode at like um, you had like a uh, what was it like 30 seconds or something like that that I was in assault mode and it's gonna be in cooldown for two minutes. I'm gonna show you guys this assault mode again while I'm facing the enemy, so you guys can see. Um, okay, so let me put up my um, attack powers. Let me just put them all the way so we can see this vessel in its full potentials. Fire on my mark, that's always good to have. Oh, I have it there. Let's see, go down fighting, no. No, 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 no. Hey, my shields are gone. There we go, torpedo high yield. Torpedo spread. Uh, do we have that? We do have that. Fleet initiative, we also have that. Okay, we're done with that. Okay, so, case on cruiser. As you can see, this ship does change uh, directions really good, so the, the turning rate is really good. That's what I'm trying to say. The turning rate of this vessel is really good, and as you can see, this mission is in normal, but my shields are not even getting, you know, um, getting down. So it has some really good resistance rating on that. And do keep in mind, no consoles. Just the Delta Alliance set. Uh, 
Okay, we can go in assault mode again. So let us just change directions. Be in assault mode. Uh, let's be in assault mode for this guy. Assault mode. 20 seconds. So there we go. You can see this vessel. It opened up over here. And let's go backwards. And that's it. Now it closed these kind of flaps that you see underneath. So it's not in assault mode anymore. And as you could see, it did a lot of damage. Did a lot more crits. Higher crits as well. And basically it did what it was supposed to do. So that's really good on this vessel. Um, I do recommend it for like captains that are like uh, between tactical and like an engineering captain. And uh, they don't really know what kind of ship uh, is like suited to their playstyle. Something between, like, you know, an engineering build and a tactical build. This vessel is really suited for that. And I'll show you the, um, the assault mode again. Just in, uh, in about 50 seconds. <laughs> Let's see. Tractor beam you. Torpedo spread. Go, 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 torpedo spread. There we go. Nice. Um, shields. My shields are almost dead. So. And they just took out some of my forward uh, facing shield because I was like stationary and when you're stationary you don't have um, that bonus that you usually have when you are in flight, that defensive bonus. So I'm going to go underneath the vessel and put it in assault mode again. And there you can see those flats are opening up. And it should dish out more power. There we go. And as you can see, a lot more crits, higher crits as well. Uh, and that's it. And for a cruiser, this ship really turns decent. Not that bad at all. Not that bad at all. Look at that, 16,000 crit. Let's see, let's call out some pirates just to help me finish this part of the mission. Okay, um, let us get out of combat for a second. There we go. Rock and roll. <laughs> nice. Let's see. Um, what else can I show you guys? I think I showed everything that I could. Um, yeah. Um, let's see. Bridge Officer Station. I talked about the Masteries. I've shown you the uh, unique bridge. 
a different visualization and i think that's it for this video so guys if you liked it give it a thumbs up and if you didn't like it give it a thumbs down no obligation there as always and thank you for your time and hope to see you on the next one so take care